Okay, I thought I'd just do an end of um, build review on the British British starter set from Warlord. Got a bit of a cheeky discount on this one. I got about twenty five percent off um, from my mate guys. Sometimes I get a bit of a discount off some of their stuff. It's just because I suppose I've painted a lot over the years and put a lot on my channel. <coughs> it's kind of the same with any company. I need a bit of advertising for them. So um, I just thought I'd give you a little review on this, like what I think. Bit of water and all. So I am a fan of some a lot of the Warlord products. You know what I mean? They got me into Bolt Action. Bolt Action is still my favourite. A tabletop game for World War Two. I've not played anything else yet, so I can't really comment. But I think I'll probably stick with Bolt Action because I like the, the ease of it, the ease of play. Um, but the figures anyway. Back to the figures. Um, well, I think these are one of the earlier kits. This one and the Germans came out first. You can get some quite nice poses with them. You know what I mean? They do look quite cheeky. I have a tendency to give them a bit of a, a few of them a bit of a jaunty, jaunty hat. You know what I mean? A bit on the side. Can't help it. But they do look nice. The little faces are nice. Everything looks quite nice. There are a few gammy arms, which you expect of a multi-part kit when you're trying to pose a lot of things. Like you could, there's probably about six or seven comfortable poses in it, and anything other than that. You kind of force in it, like so. Things like the web impacts gets in the way, and that. Um, in this set, I've managed to build 50, 50 infantry. You get enough to build some support weapons, but I didn't bother with this because Gazel had a few more to it, and I just tried to get him a volume of troops built. So he's got five complete squads. I did stick everybody a squad a two inch mortar on the back of everything, but I soon learned that I was being a bit because it did look quite cool on the backpack. Let me see if I'm finding. But there's probably only about one to every 50 men or something like that. So I ended up having to take a few off, which is a shame because that looks pretty cool. Um, but other than that, they go together quite well. Now I have changed my, I used to stick them on two peas, but I have changed it now because I decided with a plastic miniature, when you drop it, the two pea makes it heavy, so there's a greater chance of it breaking. So, and these, as I said, sometimes the, the guns will snap on these, do you know what I mean? But uh, I think put them on the plastic base. If you drop them, there's less chance of it breaking and sticking on the old 2P, which I, I used to like quite a lot. I mean, in the set, you get a six pounder, which is that one, which does come with this base. Now, I like these little round bases, and I did stick it on there initially, but it's just too, the gun is too big for the base. and it's it's not too cool uh, the main graph I've got with this is once it's fitted it's all fine it's all good nice little artillery piece but the pin that you sit the gun on to the carriage is too short now I was gonna cut it unless you're gonna avil it that there I mean I've had that come off a couple of times already because there's only a small nipple to sit the actual gun on now you could cut it and repin it See there's there's the join, and re pin it there to give you some more pin, because I can see that coming off every minute, because that's people are going to pick it up like that. Do you know what I mean? So I can I can see that coming off, but we all carry a bit of super glue in our box. But that is my only gripe with the six pounder really. Um, I like all the you get a Vickers, you get a mortar team, and you get the crew for the six pounder, and also you get a, a tank. Now this is an Italiaria tank, which it's uh, it seems like a harder plastic compared to the Warlord ones and the Rubicon ones that I've built. Now I'm a, I'm a fan of resin tanks really, do you know what I mean, I just like resin, lumps of resin, but I have got a lot of these plastic tanks. Now my main gripe with this thing is, what the hell is he doing there? He's from the Italiaria stuff and he's so out of scale to use with the Warlord figures. I mean, I know these are just bought up and put into the kits to, to use like what it would have been nice because you can't use him. He's just a bag of shit, do you know what I mean, to use with his scale. But it would have been nice if they'd have put um, some metal tank crew in to replace him. Because I know this is, as I said, this is an Italian area and this has been built for not specifically been built for war gaming so that's why that scale's different but you couldn't always stick some metal crew in but it's just a bit crap that dude but 
buses, you're not going to use them anyway. I mean, all in all, it's all air, it looks alright. This is a, it just seems a bit of a harder plastic, but I think once it's built, it'll be fine. Do you know what I mean? Other than the driver's a bit shady. Well, I think from that, as I said, <coughs> I think value for money, you get you get quite a few quid's worth of figures. Do you know what I mean? You get a good force to start with, and things like that, which I think is good. And I says you can't you can't really um, grumble with the plastics on that front. You do get a lot of troops, which um, for people on a budget, if you don't want to buy metal, is best. But as I says, with these plastic kits, you do have teething issues, getting arms on and stuff, and there are a few imperfections here and there. But all in all, I would buy it. I would buy it if I wanted to play British. Do you know what I mean? You can work around any of the sort of things, things with it. So, anyways, anybody that's looking into British troops, even with a few small issues, I still don't think this is a bad, bad set to, to get you going. So, anyways, take it easy. I'd look after yourselves. Let us.